In this video, you will learn about procedures on the Carescape R860. The suction procedure. Any ventilation mode may be used with a closed suction catheter. The following alarms may occur during the use of a closed suction procedure. Low expired minute ventilation, low expired tidal volume, and apnea. To suction a patient without nuisance alarms, an open suction procedure is provided by the ventilator. Select Menu, select Suction, and select Start. Wait for the pre-oxygenation phase and then disconnect the patient at the Y. An audible tone sounds to indicate the patient is disconnected and ventilation is paused. Suction the patient. Reconnect the patient to resume ventilation. The suction procedure will end after the oxygenation phase completes or if stop is selected. To perform an aerogen nebulizer treatment, the ventilator supports the aerogen pro and aerogen solo inline nebulizers. To connect the aerogen nebulizer to the Carescape R860, attach the nebulizer cable to the nebulizer. Line up the red dot from the nebulizer cable and aerogen port on the vent and push in to connect. The nebulizer time can be set for a specific duration of delivery times or for the volume of medication that will be delivered to the patient. A general message shows the nebulizer treatment time remaining. Select Menu, select Nebulizer, select Aerogen, select Time or Continuous, then select Start. To end the nebulizer treatment before set time, select Stop. to perform a pneumatic nebulizer treatment. The ventilator can compensate for additional flow introduced by a pneumatic nebulizer into the patient's circuit. Select Menu, select Nebulizer, select Pneumatic, select the flow value. Set the flow value to match the amount of flow that will be introduced into the circuit. Select Start. A general message shows when nebulizer flow compensation is on. Introduce the pneumatic nebulizer into the patient's circuit. For best results, introduce the pneumatic nebulizer into the circuit within approximately 15 seconds after selecting start. To end the nebulizer treatment, turn the pneumatic nebulizer flow source off, then select stop. To perform an increase O2 procedure, select Menu, select Procedure, select Increase O2, or press the Increase O2 hard key. Use the factory default set Increase O2% or adjust the O2% to the desired concentration and confirm the setting. Select Start. The oxygen general message shows along with the progress bar and a two minute countdown timer. The procedure will end when the time has elapsed or when stop is selected or when the increase O2 hard key is pressed. <laughs> 